Kirk 916. Positivity, motivation. I'm on my way into the gym and I was just thinking about the hypocrisy, how crazy this whole situation is when you look at it from an objective perspective. You know, they're pushing and they've actually passed some laws in some states in regards to the age in which you can carry a weapon, the age in which you can um, purchase a, a weapon, right? 25, used to be 18, saying you're not responsible. When you go into the military, you're 18. You can shoot an M16, but it's not like you're walking around with it all day. Now, if they push the age for consent for a gun with background checks, with mental checks, and now they got a thing where if they say that um, there might be a propensity for you to commit a crime, you can be put on a list and you can't get a gun or they can take your gun. So all they have to do is say that you may um, have a situation based upon your previous actions where you have a, there's a high chance that you can commit a crime, they will take your gun. And everybody's like, oh, okay, well shit, then that's what we gotta do. But there's nothing on the flip side when it comes to the kids. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're saying a kid in California doesn't need parental consent to take hormone pills and that gender transformation, a child at 12 can start transitioning. Hmm. Now what happens when that child goes through puberty and realizes that maybe it was a mistake? Maybe I just had some tendencies, but it doesn't mean I wanted an actual sex change. Because I know at 12 years old, I didn't know shit. I didn't know shit at 18. I was still very immature in the mind and not capable of making serious choices. That's why I made a lot of mistakes. So we have over here, everybody talking about the gun control, but nobody talking about gender. Why is that? My body, my choice. He ran up in a church, but naked, disrespecting, screaming, hollering. But you want to make me get a jab jab. Yeah, you want to make me get a jab jab or else I shouldn't be able to do shit. I should go to a, an isolation camp because you said so. See, that's the type of bullshit we're dealing with right now. That's the type of bullshit. It's no different than the bullshit with these people talking about, oh, I love black lives. Let's help these people. Oh, no. You better, uh, my daughter's off limits, buddy. Uh, she needs to find a good, good white man. And damn it, black lives, they deserve those mansions. I don't see no community centers, no uh, media centers, nothing being, nobody saying nothing to that. The hypocrisy. So I'm not picking on one particular, I'm talking about everybody. Black Lives Matter, but hey, the gang violence, we ain't saying nothing about that. Negroes killing Negroes, oh shit. Not our business. If it's a white cop, that's our business. We're going to get rich. We're going to bowl off that. We ain't giving nothing to communities, though. We ain't trying to stop the violence. We ain't going to holler at Fresh on Big Herc and say, hey, you guys don't need to go to the penitentiary. Hell no, we buying property. Hypocrisy.
kids going through all the stress. Legalize drugs. Let's increase the overdoses. Nobody wants to talk about all the opioids coming over here, all the fentanyl flooding the streets. Nah, man, we don't need to talk about that. No, mm -mm. But we're going to confuse the hell of our kids. See the hypocrisy? The shit's a joke, man. People that run the media, man, these these people who so-called celebrity role models using their kids as pawns, trying to be the front page runners for all this bullshit. Yeah, it's hot up in here. I'm in Arizona. The view. They're coming for you, Clarence. Whoopi, get the hell out of here, man. It's like, <laughs> man, when you get the bag, I guess you can do what you want. You get the bag, whatever, just do what they tell you to do if you get the bag. The bag, man, is the ultimate objective. It overrides hypocrisy. Man, shit. Kill, kill, kill. Do what you got to do. Hey, man, get the bag. That's what they say. But then you talk about power to the people. Hypocrisy. Bullshit, man. Big Herc 916. This video is brought to you by... Amato Enterprise, the best in TV mounting in the Phoenix, Arizona area. They build TV walls over the fireplace, ceiling mounts, all for as low as $100. Rated number one in the Phoenix, Arizona area on Thumbtack.com. For your TV mounting needs in Arizona, contact Amato Enterprise. Don't forget to stop by the Big Herc 916 store and pick you up a sticker for your car or a patch or a sticker for your laptop or maybe a beanie or read one of the many books that Big Herc 916 has authored. You know how we do it. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.